Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Another beautiful day here that God has given us. You know, when I joined service, joined the Marines, they send you to boot camp. And the purpose of boot camp is to take a young kid, I was 18, and begin to mold him and shape him into what they need you to be. It's not a pleasant, sometimes it wasn't a pleasant thing. Uh, sometimes it felt uh, like they were going to kill you almost. Sometimes it felt painful. But in the end, that's what they had to do to help us be what they wanted us to be. And you know, it's the same thing today with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He forgives us of our sins and we commit our lives to Him. And then he, the creator of who we are, and who he begins to mold and shape us into that that he would have us to be. There was a song the Hemp Hills used to do years and years ago called, He's Still Working On Me. And you know what, folks? He'll still be working on us until we get to heaven. But I want to read to you today uh, Jeremiah chapter 18 and first uh, four verses. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. There I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hands of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. There are several scriptures in the Bible where it refers to us being the clay and God being the potter who begins to mold and shape us into that that he wants us to be. He is conforming us to the image of Jesus Christ. He is taking the world off of us. We, we came to him, we were in sin, the world had marked us, the world had marred us, and what he begins to do when we asked him to come into our lives, he begins to take us and mold us to get that part of the world off of us and to bring in the righteousness, to bring in the image of Jesus Christ that he wants into us. And we, sometimes, uh, we don't like the process. Uh, and sometimes, you know, maybe we fail him and, and a piece of us breaks off or a lump develops in that clay. And when it does, he's got to work it out. And as long as we'll leave ourselves in the hands of the potter, our Lord and Savior, he will mold us into that that he would have us to be. It works better, the process does, when we surrender completely to him. We say, Lord, here I am. Make me into what you would have me to be, that I may be successful in my relationship with you and in the work that you would have me to do for you. So today we must realize that. He is the potter. You and I are the clay. The more we surrender to him, the more freely he can work on us and in us to make us what he would have us to be. I sing a song that I've been singing now for years. He didn't throw the clay away. When that little lump comes up because we've made a mistake in sin, when that little crack develops because we fail, he doesn't throw us away like the world will do. The world will use you up in the moment you maybe make a mistake and get in trouble, they throw you away, but the Lord had, will not, not do that. He just reshapes us and begins to work on us again. And I'm so thankful for that. I know myself, I have given him many opportunities that he could have said, that's it, and throw it away. But I'm so thankful today that the potter loves the clay, the potter knows the clay, and the potter takes us and molds us into that that he would have us to be. God, I thank you for that today. God, I'm so thankful today that you're working on me and doing a work in me. And Lord, I know you'll do that until I make it home to be with you. God, I just pray that I will surrender completely my life to you, that you can take this earthly vessel and mold it and shape it into that that you can use for your glory and for your honor. And Lord, I just praise you today for that. Thank you for all that you're doing in my life and in the lives of these that are watching. God, continue to do your work in me that I may be found working for you whenever you come or call. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. May God richly bless you.